Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel for what a favorites video. Today is my June favorites video. That's it. We're officially halfway through 2018. Anyway, I have a short but effective list of favorites this month. It is mostly beauty products, a few food products, and a few non-tangible-ish products. So let's go ahead and jump right in. We will start with beauty. So as you guys know, if you watched my June goals video, my goals were to simplify, and I will link that video up there for you so you can hear all about my simplification goals. But my first goal, and what sparked the simplification goal, was skincare related. And it would come as no surprise that I'm favoriting the skincare that that were the exclusive items that I used this month because I love them. I love them, I love them, I love them. And they are by Skin Iceland, which is a brand I have never purchased before. Like I say in the other video, I was a sucker for the salesperson that was there and she totally sold me on them, but rightfully so. So this, this is the Skin Iceland Glacial Face Wash and the The Antidote cooling daily lotion and these are the two items that I used the most. I did use a night moisturizer some nights but not many. My skin actually got used to using this moisturizer alone the more the month progressed which was pretty impressive actually. Um, and then I did some masking and whatnot but in terms of cleansing, everyday cleansing twice a day was this and moisturization was this almost exclusively. Skin Iceland prides itself on being a brand directed towards stressed out skin and if you all watch my vlogs and you see me with no makeup on you can tell how stressed my skin is. It's going through, oh my gosh, I don't know if my skin is going through its midlife crisis or what, um, even though I'm only 31. I can, I cannot and it could have something to do with the fact that I had my IUD removed in the last month and so my hormones are all out of whack and all, all sorts of crazy. But what I've noticed is I have more good days, good-ish days in terms of how bad my skin is. The, the bad days are getting progressively less bad. My skin is not anywhere close to perfect yet and I still have some cystic stuff happening along my um, jawline here and I believe jawline acne, especially cystic type acne, is um, typically hormonal related so it all makes sense that this is happening. But at the end of the day, these products feel amazing on my skin and I really like the way that they leave my skin feeling and they leave my skin looking. I wake up in the morning and I, I, I feel like throughout the day, even if I don't wear makeup, my skin gets progressively worse. Is anybody else like that? Like when I wake up in the morning and look in the mirror first thing, I'm like, yes, look at the skincare stuff work. Like I look great in the morning and just as the day wears on, the irritation happens. I don't know, I can't explain it, but anyway. So the active ingredient in these is white willow bark, which is a natural rendition of salicylic acid, which I didn't know until it came up in conversation, I think in yet another Forever 35 podcast. If, I, if my memory serves me correctly, it was somebody else. It might've actually been the same woman that they had on before who sparked this whole simplification thing for me to begin with. They had her on again and I think she specified that white willow bark was salicylic acid, which I didn't know when I bought it. I just knew that it was natural and it didn't have any of the ingredients I didn't want. So awesome, salicylic acid is in fact an acne fighter, antibacterial, all that jazz. My skin feels squeaky clean when I use this and this moisturizer, if you don't like things that feel cool on your face, you will not like this but this leaves my skin feeling so fresh. Oh, it's just so good. Like I'm daydreaming right now, holding this, of taking my makeup off and putting this back on because it just feels so stinking good. I've been using it for about a month and uh, it's about here. That's not too bad. This is not cheap stuff. It is $30 for the cleanser, five fluid ounces, and it is $45, I think, for the moisturizer, which is 1.76 ounces. It's not cheap, but it's really high quality and I'm really, truly loving it and I'm not gonna lie, unless something horrible happens, this this might be it for me, guys. Like, I might be using this for a good long time. Sticking with beauty products, we are going to the inexpensive end of the spectrum with this. I'm sure you've seen this around if you are a beauty person. This is the Health and Beauty Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay that is available on Amazon 
and it looks like this. It comes in a giant freaking tub and it was like eight or nine dollars. And I'll be honest, I had this once before and I hated it. I couldn't get it to work. I didn't understand. I don't know what my problem was. And then my sister-in-law posted a picture with this stuff on and I was like, how did you get your mask to look so smooth and like legit? Because I, I couldn't do it. And she's like, it was just one tablespoon of powder and one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. And I was like, I, I wanted this to work so bad because I've heard nothing but amazing things about it. And so I ordered it again because I'm like, all right, if it fails again, it's nine bucks, whatever. And I use a tablespoon of powder to a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar and I'll be darned if mixing it up this time it didn't work perfectly. Perfectly. Maybe it was because I was using water and not apple cider vinegar. I don't know. But anyway, this makes a bomb clay mask so good like you can feel it sucking the impurities out of your skin and it actually says that you might end up a little bit red afterwards which is true my cheeks end up a little bit flushed um, after I use this mask because of all the stuff it's doing to your skin I have been doing this for a week and a half I think I've done five or today might have been my sixth mask out of this I still have like okay so the product settles right so when it, you get it it probably is only up to the label and I'm still got this like this is gonna last me a good solid long time because I only use a tablespoon at a time, which is amazing. And I plan on doing an entire video on just how I do this because it is the most simple, basic, and inexpensive, but luxury feeling clay mask ever. And you can doctor this up in a whole bunch of different ways. I'm really loving this. And for the eight or nine dollars that it cost on Amazon, you can't you can't beat it you can't it's awesome and something that i fell in love with this is the stupidest thing but it's also the greatest thing i fell in love with this because of that mask i bought this at target for three dollars and it is a silicone mask applicator it was three bucks yes and in their new revamped beauty section i walked by it and i was like i feel like i have to have this and i went home and i used it with an origins clay mask i just squirted the mask on and i did this and I applied my entire mask and my fingers didn't get dirty. It was amazing. And then now that I'm using the Aztec mask, I use this to mix it up and then I can pick it up and paint it on my face nice and thick. And I have beautiful like Instagram worthy mask face. And my fingers aren't dirty. It is the stupidest thing. And if you don't care about dipping your fingers into things, then more power to you but i i love masking i hate getting the mask in my fingers and then i have to like get it out from under my fingernails and whatever this stupid three dollar thing three dollars solved my problem no joke i have it linked down below if it is still available it's at target for three bucks it's like by the bathory i think they're called best little gadget ever one more beauty favorite that i have for you guys is this right here and it is what is on my lips today this is the smashbox b legendary liquid lipstick it came in my sephora play box and sometimes i am not a huge fan of the stuff in the shades that they send me in the subscription box but this one was on point i love this product so much i think this is the color mauve wife or something like that but there's no label on it like i looked and i threw the thing away at the beginning of the month so i don't actually know which shade this is i think it's mauve wife but i could be wrong but the product itself is amazing i mean look at the saturation and the best part do you i, I don't know if you can tell i don't know if you can tell but this is a pointed applicator it has a point so i can actually like line my lips make sure I get it all in there and it doesn't just get like mushed all over the place I don't know I love this it's hydrating it is not a matte liquid lip it is a glossy liquid lip they come in glossy shades and metallic shades and I will be buying at least one of these I have to go into the store and like see what kind of shades they actually have in person but this one is great for a slightly dressier look. And this is not an everyday look for me, but it is totally wearable as opposed to like being some crazy bright purple or bright red or something. And I just love it. I wore it to a wedding I was at recently. I wore it in one of my other videos where you guys raved about my makeup. Raved about it. This product right here. Seriously. Um, so Smashbox B Legendary liquid lipstick with the pointed applicator. I love, love this. 
and we are moving on to food. I have two food favorites this month, and if you watch my vlogs, you know that I love these, or if you follow me on Instagram. Um, but these are the Healthy Eating All the Time and Go bars. If you follow Weight Watchers people on Instagram, you've seen these bars around. And I caved and got them because I kept seeing them around, and I was like, well, screw it. I really need to just give these a try. These bars made me feel like I could eat peanut butter again. I'm not even kidding you. Like, the, just look, look. Can you see, well, focus on the detail? I mean, the ingredients in these bars, oats, natural peanut butter, which is roasted peanuts and sea salt, sunflower seeds, almonds, unsweetened coconut flakes, honey, and cranberries. And in this one, these are two of my favorite flavors. This one has oats, natural peanut butter, raw sunflower seeds, raw pumpkin seeds, unsweetened coconut flakes, chia seeds, and 60% cacao chips and honey. So whole, so natural, so freaking delicious. And the first time, the first one I tried was this one. This one's everybody's favorite, the peanut butter granola bar cranberry. And I understand why, but when I got this one, this is the first one I ate and I took a bite and I felt like peanut butter was no longer off limits. The heavens opened, the angel chorus sang, and I ate a bar that tasted like real peanut butter for the first time in I don't know how long because on Weight Watchers I have not been eating peanut butter because it's freaking 200 calories and I, whatever. This made me feel like I could eat peanut butter again. And this guy has like real chocolate chunks in it and they're all around 200 calories and it's, oh. I love them and right now if you don't know I'm counting calories for the month of June and um, but whether you are on smart points I think these range between six and seven smart points four five or six I think for mostly four or five points plus and around 200 calories for each of these bars oh oh my gosh oh my gosh I, if you haven't tried them, you need to try them. It's a simple little website. It's owned by one woman who I talked to briefly over Instagram and she's super sweet, so kind. And she started this out of necessity. She wanted something healthy that she could feed her daughter and herself while always being on the go. And so she made these. It's amazing what's born out of necessity, right? Oh my gosh, so good. And then the other food thing that I'm loving this month, you've probably seen around too, and these are Smart Sweets. These are the, not completely sugar-free, but low sugar, Weight Watchers friendly gummy bear. And you guys, they are freaking awesome. I'm obsessed. The unfortunate thing is you can only get them on their website, which I'll have linked down below, or at Whole Foods, and they're not cheap. They're like $40 for 12 bags, I think, on the website. Not cheap, but I'll be darned if they weren't friggin' delicious. Like, they have a sour flavor, which has like a little like acidy powder, on, like a citrus powder on top, um, kind of like Sour Patch Kids. And then they have the fruity flavor. The, the fruit flavors in both of these are raspberry, apple, lemon, and peach. They're so good. They're soft and chewy gummy bears. You can eat the entire bag for 90 calories. And get this, get this, 28 grams of fiber. 28, like this is a legit fiber snack right here. So I drink, I, I drink these, I eat these and drink a bottle of water and I'm full for like ever and ever, amen. No joke. And I got candy, I got to eat candy. Can you tell I'm a little bit excited about these? These were sent to me for free, but only after I reached out to the company, after I went to Whole Foods and bought like 10 of them myself. I'm not even kidding. Um, ugh. I'm obsessed with these. I hate that they're so expensive but I will continue to buy these as a special treat for myself because they're just that good. Three smart points per bag, two points plus per bag, 90 calories. I can't even. I haven't had food favorites that good in a long time, you guys. And now I have a couple of multimedia type other, no other, just let's go with other. First, if you guys have not 
started listening to Forever 35, the podcast, then you are missing out sincerely. It is two really good friends that talk a lot about skincare primarily, but they dive into all sorts of other topics of information. And I truly, I don't remember if I favorited this last month. I really can't remember. And I didn't go back and watch to see if I did. So I'm favoriting it again. Forever 35 podcast is so so good especially if you want just like you feel like you're in a room with your girlfriends it's give it a try a friend of mine recommended it to me and i'm so thankful that she did so brooke if you're watching this thank you because it is legitimately my new favorite podcast ever so forever 35 podcast Imperfect Produce. If you watch my vlogs, you will have seen my Imperfect Produce box. What Imperfect Produce is, is a way for you to get discounted produce sent directly to your door. And now that I'm thinking about it, I should have a box showing up very, very soon today. My delivery day is on Tuesday. But what you do is you sign up and you get imperfect produce like maybe the apples are too small or there's a surplus most of the time it, the answer is their imperfection is there's a surplus of them which is not an imperfection at all um or maybe there's like a wonky shaped cucumber which means it can't get sold in the grocery stores whatever the reason is the imperfect produce is still perfectly edible and perfectly fresh and delicious but they discount it heavily so they can get rid of it and it doesn't end up just going to waste. So it is a way to help the environment and help your pocketbook while getting groceries delivered to your door, which is incredible. And like I said, I have a couple of vlogs where I talk more about Imperfect Produce. I'll link one of them up there. But if you're interested in Imperfect Produce, I have my referral link down below. It will get you $10 off your first order if Imperfect Produce is available in your area. And some people are commenting that is in fact not available in theirs yet. I don't know what their timeline is. I'm in the Chicagoland area and it is available here. So if you use my link, you get $10 off. I do get $10 kickback. Back, but it's not because I'm a blogger or a youtuber or anything like that if you sign up you will get your same the same type of referral link and you share it with your friends and then you get the $10 kickback it's mmm it's so good I'm so excited I have been eating so much produce the last couple weeks so much like I can't so much because it's so inexpensive that I buy it all and then I go well crap now I have to eat it all and so I've been eating like giant salads and oh it, oh imperfect produce check it out the link is down below and the last thing i have for you is a, an old favorite i know i favorited this a long time ago back when i was a member i rejoined scribed and scribed is a book kind of like a book subscription uh, like a digital book so audiobooks and ebooks and all that stuff and i know i'm a member of amazon unlimited as well but scribed changed their um their their way of doing things and it's now an unlimited reading and listening subscription for like eight dollars a month or nine dollars a month something like that we're talking audiobooks like the audiobooks that i'm wanting to read not like amazon does not have everything i want available on amazon unlimited scribed has a lot more up-to-date recent releases and audiobooks on it and i'm I'm loving it because I don't even have to choose one audiobook a month anymore. I can listen to as many as I want, which is incredible. It's so much cheaper than Audible, which is great. And I, I've only been listening to it for like another week or so, but it's worth mentioning in this video because it's awesome. It's awesome. If you love books or audiobooks and you want a subscription that lets you get a little bit more than one book a month, um, go to Scribe. And I'll have the link for that down below. I think it said, I did look into this, that I have a referral link. And I think you can get two, it's one or two months free if you sign up using my link. Click the link and let me know what it says because it didn't really go into much detail because the interface changed since the last time I used it. But I do have a link down below that will get you something for free if you haven't been a member before. It's definitely worth checking out, definitely. So there you go, those are my favorites for the month of June. Let me know in the comments down below what some of your favorites were for the past month, whatever genre they may be, food, beauty, lifestyle, home stuff, everything. I want to know everything. If you liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click the little subscribe button down there so you are notified every time I upload something new. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch. I will talk to you soon and see you in July. What? Bye guys.